Hey there, I'm Meredith Noble, co-founder of the Global Grant Writing Collective, where we help a lot of burnt out teachers like yourself pull off a complete career transition and become well-paid grant writers with a lot more schedule flexibility. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down how exactly do you do that? When you are an exhausted teacher, how do you pull off the transition? I'm gonna give you a couple examples so you can start to see what's possible. And then I'm gonna give you one homework assignment because hey, you're a teacher, I know you know how we roll and you'll be able to know exactly what your next step should be. So with that, let's hit it. My little sister is a Spanish teacher, a darn good one. Wish she had taught me Spanish. I probably would have learned more, but she is literally making a salary of 45K a year. She cannot move out of the teacher housing. She's in a very expensive little ski town. And I feel for her because now she has taken on a bartending job. And this is what our teachers are doing, right? You're working a full-time job. You've got a great homework. You've got to deal with parent teacher conferences, all of the other responsibilities of unpaid volunteer work you're asked to do. And now take another job just so you can make your bills. That's a problem. So when we have a new teacher join us in the Global Grant Writing Collective, like I am so joyful and I'm also so sad because I'm thinking, gosh, darn it. We've taken another teacher out of the system. Our school needs you, but I'm sorry that you have been failed and you have been failed by systems that are much bigger than us. And until this tide can can shift in a different direction, I recognize that you need to do something for your own health, well-being and financial well-being. And this is a very real option for you. That said, I just wanna acknowledge that I know this can be a bit overwhelming at the thought of pulling off a career transition because you are so exhausted, you're working your butt off and you don't have an excess amount of financial resources to make this move happen. All that said, you as a teacher have a hella advantage because you're bringing into the grant writing profession skill sets that are absolutely invaluable in this line of work. So first things first, what is a grant writer? A grant writer helps organizations win funding that they don't have to pay back for a charitable purpose. So an example of given recently is let's say you help the Boys and Girls Club get grant funding to help underserved youth in your community with a summer program. That would be an example of you wrote the grant that helped pay for a project. Boys and Girls Club doesn't have to pay the money back. You might even have written some grants in your classroom. I know a lot of times I get some teachers that have done some small grants that help pay for supplies. Grant writing is about managing a lot of moving parts. And let's be real, you manage a lot of moving parts in a classroom. So think about it as coordination is a key skill in grant writing writing because you are coordinating between the organization you're working with or for and the funder and maybe the beneficiaries that you're serving. So that coordination skill you have, that comes in real handy. Second, as a teacher, you are inherently community oriented. You are obviously didn't get into teaching for the money. So you've already got this wiring in you where you want to do and maybe have to do work that is fulfilling, work that is giving back to your community. And guess what? That is the nature of grant writing, which is really fun. You just get to be on this like whole nother their level of impact because you can win literally hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of grants for causes you care about. And finally, think about the creative thinking and communication skills that are needed in grant writing. So a lot of times when you're writing a narrative, we're coming at it creatively, or we need to figure out how many grants can we put together and in what order so we can fund a complex project. Like you do these things, you are a creative thinker and you know how to communicate concepts that are complex in a simple way. So everything that you do as a teacher segues beautifully beautifully into grant writing as a profession. So how do you break into this field with no prior experience and not a lot of time or money? Drum roll. Okay, my whole principle here is I want you to earn to learn, all right? We're gonna start by what's called the organic networking framework. You're gonna start by doing informational interviews, which is when you have a genuinely curious conversation with an organization you care about and draw out through very thoughtful questions. Do you have a need for grant writing? Do you know what grants you're going after? Are you chasing them haphazardly or not. And if you spot a need, you can suggest, hey, I could provide for you a funding strategy. A funding strategy is a 12 to 18 month roadmap of the grants you'll pursue that give you the highest likelihood of winning and the greatest return on investment. This is a process that I developed. Like most organizations are chasing grants haphazardly and you can stop that cycle by giving them this amazing deliverable of boom, here are the next five grants to focus on. How much do you charge for a funding strategy? Anywhere from two grand on the low end to four grand, yes as a beginner. We are charging eight, nine, 10,000 plus on a funding strategy. So let me assure you, they're still getting a great deal from you. So let's say you charge $3,000 for your funding strategy. Now we know what grants to go after. That whole process took you about six to eight weeks. You can totally handle it in the weekends and on the evenings. It is not an undue amount of work. We're talking like 30 hours of research time. Okay. Like really doable. 
then we can now amend our contract to write the grants you recommended. So now that you know what you wanna go after, you can look at the requirements and put together a proposal to implement it. This can be a retainer contract. So maybe all of a sudden now you have a $6,000 a month retainer that can hold you through for the year to implement that entire strategy, or you can do a lump sum. I'm not gonna get into contract specifics right now. Just recognize we got you for that part. So once you have made a certain amount of revenue, which we want to at least see you hit 15K, and if you're enjoying this, you can go land a different job if you want with benefits in an in-house grant writer gig, and you now have some experience to talk about to get you a foot in the door, or you can scale to grant writing consulting full-time. And I often get asked, well, when is it the right time to like know when to quit your job? You'll know when you're like, I can't manage both of these things at the same time, this is too much. And you've got a backlog of work that is under contract. And that dollar amount depends on your life circumstances and what you need to be making every month. But most people are doing it on month 13 that are joining us, making that full switch. Okay, so that's the essence of the organic networking framework and how you can start to get paid opportunities to literally learn the art and skill of grant writing to segue yourself out of teaching into a new career. Now, the next question you might be asking is how long is this gonna take? And I did just give you the example of for many that are making the full-time switch, it's 13 months. But if you can put in five hours a week and do that consistently, you will be able to get certified in 90 days, certified as a grant writer with a paid gig. So yeah, you gotta hit the ground running, but I want you to know that like, I have factored in that you're busy, that you've got a lot else going on in your life and it is not unreasonable. The other thing that you can do is like binge on the course content so you've learned the principles and then actually hit like doing the pursuing contract work during your summer season when you're off. Like you can be a little bit more intense about it than you could during the, the school year. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it as a teacher. Now, I wanna give you a couple examples so you can see what's possible. Okay, first of all, when you get a chance, go and look at this blog post. It's literally a career change for teachers blog. You're gonna hear about just a ton of different teachers that are in our program weighed in on this. And it was a, it's a really nice blog and I think you'd really enjoy it. So when you've got a chance, go look at that. I will link it up in the description below. All right, our first case study is Jess. So Jess came to us as a burnt out teacher during COVID. She had to quit. She could not do teaching and raising her kids at home, but she needed to make some money. So she hit that organic networking framework we were just talking about. She did 24 interviews, literally landed 11 clients and two subcontracts out of that and had seven pending proposals. So her odds were really good. Clearly Hawaii needed a grant writer, but recognize that in year one, she completely pulled off that transition and was making more than she was in her teaching gig. She did 55K in revenue in her first year. She has since way surpassed that. And when you make 100K in revenue, we literally will mail you this adorable hoodie. It's got a big grant writing unicorn on it. When you've hit that threshold, but she ended up hiring a bunch of fellow unicorns. We've actually hired her on as a coach and she has won well over $1.3 million in grants. And it's cool because the impact is huge. Look at her first grant was $157,000 grant for an emergency food shelter, or she got her hands into writing her first federal grant. Those puppies pay real well, folks, like billing 20, 25,000. I have folks that are charging $60,000 for a single federal grant, no joke. So that was really cool. She got her, she got her, cut her teeth on federal grants. And one of the things that I know can be a challenge for people that are leaving a teaching profession and getting into freelancing is you don't want to work alone. You like being around people. And what's really cool here is that, yeah, great. Go work with other grant writing unicorns. Don't do this work alone. Freelancing does not have to be just you working at home behind a computer. So here's an example of her partnering with another Hawaiian grant writer, Becca, and just an epic journey of them getting their grant application submitted. I love this final takeaway in this last screenshot I share with you. Don't let your own story get in your way. If this little elementary school teacher from Hawaii can be a kick booty grant writer, you can too. Okay, that's Justin as an example. Let's look at another one. This is Caroline. So funny enough, I actually took a I went into like a women's business accelerator over at Babson College and I took a financial, an online financial statement course, like how do you read financial statements better from Caroline's father, which is hilarious because I'd recognize the last name. So she joined us completely didn't you know know the connection about that at all until she had joined but she was a former high school english teacher super duper duper burnt out knew she needed to do something else and so she ended up building her grant writing consulting business and she's really niching down on environmental focused nonprofits and has absolutely been crushing it this is literally only i guess about a month ago she won twenty five thousand dollars for a 
regenerative ag program, which is really cool, the big impact. And here's another example of how she won some really important funding for high country news so that they could be funding research. I don't have the exact stats on what she's made, but I can tell you that she has made $50,000 in six months of joining, which is pretty doggone incredible. And she is on her way to 100K in her first year. In wrapping up, dear teacher, I am sorry that you have not received the support you deserve to be able to stay in the teaching profession. My one bit of advice is to remove the pressure from yourself to have to know exactly your next move. Come into this career transition with an open heart and curiosity. I will show you how to make 15K as a freelance grant writer. You can then decide if you want to continue to pursue this or do something else. Worst case scenario, you didn't like grant writing, you made money figuring that out, right? So with that, your homework assignments up next. I want you to scroll down into the description. You're gonna see a training on how do you break into this field. It's gonna go into a lot more detail than we talked about today. So go watch that and let me know your thoughts. Hit the like and subscribe button and add any comments. I love to personally respond. All right, that's it. Talk to you later.